Hi guys, Alan from Newlands Nursery. Hope you're well. This is today's five minute Friday and it's a classic one. We are gonna be sowing some chilies. Um, so you probably can't see, but there's a tiny bit of sort of uh, mist coming out of my mouth because it has really dropped in temperature. And believe it or not, that is the time of year that we sow chilies on the nursery. So we're approaching the beginning of December and we sow a lot of our chilies in this month and into December which surprises so many people. So if I can give you one tip, you don't actually necessarily need to watch me sowing the chilies. It's purely the fact is do it early. The earlier you do it, if you've got um, a bit of space to put it in, the better it is. Your crop will be earlier and you'll get more crop as well. Um, because the longer you have the fruiting season, the more crop you'll get from them. So it's well worth doing it early, especially with super hots, which take a little bit longer. So we're gonna sow these. Um, I'm just putting a multi-purpose, good quality multi-purpose compost in there. Um, you can use a seed and cutting mix as well. Um, this is actually quite a good seed and cutting mix, um, our commercial grade compost. Um, so I'm gonna put that in there um, and just tap it down to get rid of any air gaps. Don't be tempted on squashing the compost in, that would just make it harder for the chilli to get its roots down. Um, okay, that's what we're looking for, a relatively even sowing surface. Then what I'm going to do is sprinkle some of these chilli seeds. So we collect the chilli seeds from the nursery, from our crops. So we collect our own chilli seeds so we can guarantee the quality of them. So I'm going to go for sowing one seed per cell, like that, okay. Just in the centre, it doesn't have to be dead centre. So we just go across here and you could obviously do more than one variety in here. That wouldn't matter. I'll loop back to the other side in a second, just like that. Okay, so, right, simple as that. Okay, and then the remaining seed will go back in there. And if you're collecting your own chili seed, it will last for around about two years with no problems at all, sometimes a lot, lot longer. So we just tip that back in, just like that, and store them in a nice dry atmosphere, um, just like that, okay. So now all we need to do is cover the seeds. So I grab a little bit of compost, make sure it's a bit that hasn't got too many lumps in it. And we just put a very light covering over the top of the seed. So we're just covering it up. Okay, just like that. So it's not a lot, but we just wanna cover it. Okay, simple as that. Now that's your sowing done, as easy as that. Now all we do is give it a good watering. Um, on this, I've got a little drip tray there. Um, so I give it a good watering. And the reason we've got a drip tray is because at home, this is generally speaking, gonna be going in on the windowsill, in an airing cupboard, somewhere nice and warm. I want it to be around about 25, 26, maybe even 27 degrees to get the germination good. Um, a seed like this, um, and this is a capsicum, an anum type, um, this is Phileas blue, and that will germinate in around about two weeks. Some of the very, very hot ones could take a month or even longer. Um, so just like that, and if you've got a greenhouse lid, then cover it up as well. That will keep the humidity nice and high, keep a nice lot of moisture in there and that will help with the germination. It's as simple as that. Um, if you've got any questions at all about sowing chilies or sowing anything, to be honest, get in contact. We're here to help. See you soon.